Yes. All right. Welcome to the team call, you guys. It is Monday, hey, Jul June 25th. I almost skipped all the way to July. And it's not even the 25th. It's the 27th. That's why. I'm looking at July because we're talking about Summit tonight. Icebreaker. Okay. Um, so we're talking about Summit tonight. I know, right? I don't know. I've been in the sun too long. I think I even got like sunglass eyeballs. <laughs> oh, shoot. Anyhow. Okay. So you guys all have tickets, right? If you know anybody who doesn't have a ticket that still wants to go, um, I know of one ticket that isn't transferable, but um, we've, used, names we've used, yeah, because if it's paid for, you may as well freaking. Yeah, all you, all you need is their name, email address, coach ID number, and you can pick up, um, pick up the packet for that ticket. Um, so if they've already picked out the workouts and the track that they're on, that's what you get. But if you guys know of anybody who wants to go, um, we do know of one ticket Josh Holt that's said open. He booked through Beachbody and he has two rooms what? for four nights. So if anybody else is going that needs a room, he's a room. Yeah, well, we've got one spot open now too. So, but if we have somebody buy that ticket, then we've got room. Anyhow, um, 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 okay, so I guess hey, biggest thing no is we care. need to figure out for sure what days everybody's getting in and what days everybody's leaving. Um, because if we don't need the rooms for both rooms for the whole time, we can cut back and then whoever, if you guys are, if some of you are coming later, leaving earlier, if we don't need that room as long, it would cut back on the, on the cost for who's ever staying in that room sort of thing. Um, so Marcy, I know you don't have your flights yet, but does everybody else have their flight? Yes. Okay. Um, so Bridget, what day do you get in? So me and Misty both, we leave Wednesday. Okay. And then we come back home on Monday. Wednesday to Monday. Okay. And Wednesday to Monday. Okay, cool. Wednesday um, to Monday. Yeah, we're. I know. Okay, Gosh turn. dang. Um, okay, Trina, what day do you get in? Tuesday to Monday. Tuesday to Monday. Or Tuesday to Sunday. Sorry, Tuesday. I'm leaving Sunday morning. Okay, Tuesday to Sunday. Okay. All right, um, Matt. Uh, let's see. I I get in late Wednesday night. Okay. Two flights to like Alaska and Denver and Chicago. Why would you go to Alaska? Matt's <laughs> <laughs> like, like making like a huge S <laughs> figure. Are you just flying standby the whole time? Yes. You're like, I'll take it. I'll fly. <laughs> <laughs> so I, uh, and then I leave. I leave on Monday. Is that the first? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you're wet, late Wednesday night to Monday. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, Nate? Yeah, Nate. What have you got? Uh, Tuesday at two o'clock in or twelve o'clock in the morning. I fly out. I get to Nashville at eight or nine in the morning, and then I'm there until. Monday night. Until Monday night. Okay, so you're Tuesday to Monday. Cool. And that's what we are is Tuesday to Monday. Tuesday to Monday. Sweet. Um, so I just need to ask Megan and Susan and Lisa. Ashley is probably not coming. She's the one that I think will have a, a ticket. If any of your coaches want to go, let us know. We'll so I have a coach that wants to go. She just can't afford the plane ticket. Oh. I know. That's a um, long drive. Yeah. <laughs> a long drive. <laughs> and a lot of, a lot of gas. Yeah. Okay. I'll check it out in just a second. Um, yeah, so Marcy's kind of in that same boat. 
Um, so what I've done to like challenge her is just like, let's see if we can drum up enough business um, to pay for it with challenge packs. Yeah, that's true, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. We do, we do have an income opportunity. Yep. Yeah. We do. So five years. You this whole time. Right now. God. Yeah. He didn't know I was getting paid for what he does. The things I could have done and known and bought. <laughs> the things that you have bought. Holy yeah. moly. That's <laughs> true. <laughs> so, anyhow, so, you know, put that out there. I know that um, probably the sooner or the closer it gets to Summit, the airfare is probably going to go up. I would guess. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. Um, like, Marcy's got a birthday coming up. So, tell your friends and family or whatever, anybody who's giving you a birthday present. Money and spankings. I just need money and a plane ticket. Spankings. And, and a few spankings, if that gets you a few extra dollars. <laughs> or something, right? <laughs> oh, shoot. So, um, okay, so we got that all down. So, who has not been to Summit before? Okay, yeah, so Trina, Nate. Nate, you've never what? been to Summit before? I've been down to Vegas, but I, I didn't have a ticket to get in. So what'd you do, hang outside outside the wall and listen to us all laugh? <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing right now. Um, that's not very funny. Uh, okay, anyhow, so Summit. Um, a little bit of what to expect when we get there. Um, and then our hotel has airport shuttle to and from the airport. Okay, you just got to call the hotel and they'll come and get you. Um, we're also, I know Megan's uh, got a minivan, I think is what she said, reserved. We're going to get two minivans? Yeah, we're going to need more than just a minivan. So we've got, we'll figure out how many can fit in the minivan and we'll also get something that's big enough to fit the rest of us. Um, so, cause you do have about a 15 minute drive from the hotel to the convention center. Okay. So basically when you're like trying to plan things out, don't expect to go back to the room until that night. Okay. So if you're packing a lunch, then the room does have, um, like a kitchenette. So there's, there's a small fridge. It's nothing huge. So don't buy like a whole ton of groceries and make everybody mad because all the whole fridge is full or something. Okay. So just, there is a fridge, but it's not ridiculously huge. Um, and they do have breakfast every morning at the hotel too. So you know, like yogurts and stuff that if you wanted to take a couple up to your room and take them the next morning or something like that, you can do that. Um, but don't plan on going back to the room after you leave in the morning. For the day with everything. Yeah, and that includes stuff to clean up in the bathroom a little bit after a workout. You know, that kind of stuff. So plan on staying in your uh, workout clothes pretty much the whole time, except for um, the parties at night. Um, I'm not even sure what they've got going on. I know there's a, a concert, a Billy Idol concert or something, right? Mm -hmm. Not crazy for Hidden Success Club in May. That's up, yeah. 15 points combined between the two months. Um, so that's the success club party. You know, they've got also the five stars and up or something like that party. So we don't have to worry about that, but there is a party Saturday night, a farewell party that everybody goes to downtown. Okay. Yeah. Downtown. They usually the last year they, did a firework ceremony and then blocked off part of the main street for everybody to just kind of mingle a little bit. Um, so I imagine it'll probably be close to the same as that this year. Um, 
So that takes care of that. Do you guys have any questions about anything? Do you have to wear something to the after party? Because I know we didn't go when we went to Vegas. Right. First year, we didn't end up going. You didn't go to the party. Um, last year, we just last year, last, last year, we didn't go back to change. No, I know. We just went and walked downtown just the we, way we were. Yeah, we didn't, we didn't go back to change because there was something going on um, that didn't give us time to write Marcy to go back and change. So everybody, a lot of everybody was dressed up in dresses and stuff like that. And we just didn't have time to run back. It was a, either run back and expect all six people in the room to shower and get dressed and miss the party. So we just went as we were. So, you know, whatever. Yeah. It, worked. it worked. We all had fun. It didn't matter that we were walking around in our workout clothes still. It's outside. <laughs> Nobody cares. <laughs> Stuff with us. We were good. We were good. We were good. So if you want to bring something to dress up in, you can. Um, but don't be like really butthurt if we don't have time to run back and change. Yeah, we know what you're So, um, so since knowing that from last year to this year, if we want to change, we'll probably bring a change of clothes with us, like I said, and do like a, a sink bath, um, put on your makeup in one of the bathrooms. The bathrooms are really nice. Okay. The convention center. Um, they're really nice. So yeah. and they're, they're big. So they're, they're big. They've got tons of counter space. You know what I mean? It really wouldn't be that hard to go find a bathroom to just freshen up just a little bit if you really want, you know, if we want to change. But we didn't know last time. We were all planning on going back to get ready. So this time Maybe. we'll, this time we'll go more a little prepared in case we don't get to come back and get ready. Yeah, baby okay. wipe will be your friend. Who will be your friend? Your baby wipe? Bring baby, wipe. The baby wipes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, yeah, anything else? As far as uh, there's two tracks, you guys know that. There's a silver track and a blue track. And that basically means the blue track goes to the big uh general sessions all at the same time while the did i say the silver track the blue track goes to the big general sessions and the silver track goes to their classes okay and then when they switch okay Rocking, half in the halfway in the day um yeah when is that you do you guys know that's on i thought it was on wednesday or is it on or thursday? maybe it's thursday or I think it's Thursday morning. Thursday at night with the, with the other three teams? Say what? Is it the at night Nashville? Yeah. When is that? I think, I think it's Thursday morning. Thursday morning? Yeah. yeah it's morning. like 11 to 2, I want to say. 11. 11 to 2. All right. So we might come in a competition between bikini and board shorts <laughs> our, our time to go get judged is at 11 on thursday totally making you guys pose if you show up like that just saying you're gonna be doing the pose for me i'll be wearing a robe okay a silk one not in the picture <laughs> yeah not in the picture you won't be <laughs> Point, you, can, you can wear the robe <clears throat> as long as you put the Lynn Mills combat gloves on. <laughs> oh, yeah. Totally, right? I'll bring those, too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, yeah. Anyhow, so there's that going. Who all has tickets? To I do. The I think Misty does, too. Tickets to what? To the Ignite um, Nashville. Okay. Sweet. Called Ignite. What? Well, maybe you guys can use our tickets. <laughs> <laughs> and then when it's so late when we're showing up, uh, we'll just sneak in. <laughs> so it is, I just looked it up. It's nine, it's nine a.m. to twelve p.m. 
9 to 12, even worse. On the 28th. On the 28th, and that's when, that's when the Thursday morning is, yeah. 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 But, it's all good, I'll take good notes. Thank okay. You. I will too. Good. I'll bring my GoPro, you guys can take it and record it, and then if we can. There you go. That would be good. That would be good. Just hand the GoPro off. Hand off the GoPro. Sweet. Um, all right. Uh, any other questions you guys have? So usually Thursday, there's it doesn't usually start until like four or five-ish, something like that. Do the big welcome thing. And that's held at the football stadium. So everybody goes to that. Um, the opening sunglasses at the stadium. They're yes. Freaking hot. Sunglasses at the stadium. Sunglasses. You will want them. <laughs> because unless they change the direction that we're sitting, so that we're sitting in the shade and everybody's on stage is in the sun. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. So, but it was it was really super bright and and uh, hot. For sure. <laughs> um, yeah, anything else? And then Friday, I think most everybody has their workouts for Friday morning, right? Country. Yeah. Did That's you do a Sagi? Okay. Yeah, I got the beast. Nate, what'd you do? Sagi? Sagi. Okay. Yep. And, all right. You've got. Um, what did I get? Marcy? Country Heat, or what workout did you get? Me? Oh, Country Heat, yeah. And Trina, same? same. Cool. Cool, cool. Yeah, Bridget? Um, What hotel are we staying at? It is... Embassy Suites Airport. Embassy Suites Airport. Yep. <clears throat> yep, yep. All right, um... And then Friday morning you have classes, and then the Beach Body Classic is Friday night. And then Saturday there's the big super workout. That's Friday, you said. Um, Saturday morning is the big super workout. I'm just gonna warn you guys. And then classes. The streets they have a big party the night before, so the freaking streets smell like freaking pee and beer. And all they do is like take a street sweeper down and it's like muggy and stinky and hot. It was pretty stinky. So just to give you it, it was bad. But because we were so, you know, 25,000 coaches, we were so crammed, they didn't have any of us doing like anything no parties, on the street. No nothing nothing where you had to nothing where you had to get down. So But it does stink for sure. Yeah, it, it definitely was a little stinky. And then it only got worse as we started working yeah. out. And it was freaking hot. Wet, flying everywhere. sure know how to sell this. flying everywhere. I hope you like your neighbors. Muggy <laughs> beer urine smells so good. Oh, yuck. You're going to make them all want, not want to go. They're going to be like, we're getting up at 3 o'clock in the morning to do what? Are you crazy? <laughs> yeah. Well, if, the party, if the party the night before is that good, maybe we'll still be up for the workout. The, hey, there, wear your workout clothes to the party. Right? Remember when I was saying just wear your workout clothes all day long? Yeah. We did go to the piano bar a couple times last year, and it was awesome. It was really it was fun. So much fun, laid back. The entertainment was awesome. Yep. That is, like, the coolest place ever. Yeah. yeah. I loved it. It was. It was way really super fun. Super, super fun. Um, and then the Saturday there's classes and then the farewell party, the closing ceremony, and then the farewell party. Um, and then and then we're all done. So. Do you have to sign up for the classes or how do you find out about those? Um, I already signed up for your classes. Right on. So. Perfect. I, Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I um, 
Chad had a ticket and he's not going this year. So Lisa is going to be Chad. And so I picked, I picked the classes, same classes that I'm going to. Perfect. Um, and you got country heat for a workout. Wahoo. Oh. Yeah. Not that standing are good. Yeah. We'll just write your name on the back of the paper if you want. <laughs> It'll work. Like they didn't even check at all, I don't think, like last year. We used Cherish for somebody. Mm hmm Last year. Oh, it was for For Ashley. Yeah. Yep. Yep, yep. Okay. Um, any other questions, you guys? Not really. Everybody Marcy, you're going. You're going, Marcy. She's she's trying to. I'm trying. I'm we're still we're, working. we're trying to make it work. Okay. Right on. Yep. Because you know. It wouldn't be the same without her. It was. No. no. I know. <laughs> I haven't missed one yet, and I don't want to. So I'm working on it. She's the right snazzy jazz hands all the time. I know. Who would we have be Scott's sexy? determined to get me up on that piano bar thing, so we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. All right. Um, okay. So, <laughs> you. so if you don't have any uh, more questions about Summit, um, or is there any more questions about Summit? Not anything that anybody can think of. I'm trying to think of things that you need to bring. Um, workout clothes, workout plugs, shoes, um, possibly some ear plugs if you have a hard time eating, or um, definitely make sure that you bring uh, a notepad and a pen, stuff to take notes with. Cell phone charger. Charging phones a couple times. Cell phone charger. Extra battery chargers if you got the packs. Bring Make them. Make sure you go through your phone and clear out some space for some memory. Um, really, other than that, you know, just because we, we took two pairs of shoes for workout because the, during the super workout, they freaking got like soaked and nasty and. Like later washing them and then letting them dry. And then yeah, them we <laughs> we all went and changed after the super workout because <laughs> because we did bring clothes to change into, right? But our we put all of our clothes. We didn't want them stinking in the car, so we put them all in a bag. <laughs> all of our soaked workout clothes together, and then we opened the bag and like puffed a cloud of steam, and it was so nasty. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it, it was pretty fantastic. So um, we'll have to figure out a better way to air out our dirty laundry <laughs> after the super order. Start, start saving the little absorber packs that, you know, come in like your things. <laughs> and seriously, that. yeah, save like a ton of those. It was throw a whole pot load in the back. Along with some sneaker balls. <laughs> And good, so job selling, good, good job selling this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's an experience, that's for sure. Um, totally worth it. It's to, it's totally worth it for sure. Um, Bring plenty of energy or because yeah. you will need it. Yeah, like, they, you don't get very much sleep at all this whole week. Like it's nuts. They sell Shakeology um, in the convention center. So if you want to buy your shake, I think it's what, like six bucks or something like that. Um, if not, make sure that you pack your Shakeology. Um, your, any supplements that you want. While so you're while you it, for after Super Saturday. When you bring your like Energize or your Shakeology, do they search it when you go um, through? They, they revoked that because I mean, there's no way they could have, like last second, they told us that we had to have everything in a clear bag and they voided that and let everybody carry backpacks mm -hmm. and food and coolers and... Well, they they checked when we were going into the Bridgestone arena. arena. 
Um, is that the football stadium? No, that's uh, indoor hockey. hockey or something. That's where they have the general sessions. Okay. For the blue track and the silver track. The only thing they wouldn't let us take um, in was water. We had to dump the water out, and then when we got in, we well, could fill it. Yeah, and they wouldn't let you take snacks in there either, though. Because I remember hiding my cliff or my quest bars. <laughs> oh. Shh! Don't tell anybody. This isn't recorded. Mm -hmm. Megan is the mule. Megan is the mule. Mm -hmm. I may or may not have stuck it down my pants. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to throw it away. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Now I'm blind. So then when you when you get on the plane, do they let you take it on the plane? Because I know that Caleb like, like, Thomas said that they searched him and they they like we just took swabbed his hands. And didn't have a yeah. yeah. If, if you've got too much powder in your bag, Definitely your carry on, but they won't take it. They'll they'll open it up and check and see what it is, and then they'll swab your hands. And if you're clean, you're good to go. Just don't go shooting the couple days before. <laughs> no we'll try not, I'll try not to shoot anybody <laughs> with my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> yep, exactly. So you I just don't want to bring my tub and then have them well, throw. We've, yeah, we just never, barely took a whole but if you would have saw the amount of powder that we took. Freaking, like recover and recharge and BCAAs and all in Ziploc bags. So it looked like we were drug We smoking. carried a lot of, <laughs> we both we got checked. We both got checked, but we ended up in Mexico. All they did all is swab the inside of our bag and yeah. to the things and all you're good. Mm -hmm. Yep. We had so many bags. So, so you're good. You're good to take it on the plane. Um, so will they let you take your shakers? Well, yeah. Your shaker cup? Yeah. Yeah, at, at the convention. You just have to have yeah. a drink. Yeah. You just have to buy their water. Uh, no, they, have they have drinking, drinking fountains. fountains. Oh. Just, they don't want you like going in their doors and, with alcohol. With That's the biggest thing. So when okay. you can fill it and then put Shakeology or Energize or whatever. Right. Yeah. That was the only thing that made us dump out was the water in the... At least water. last year. Yeah, they might change it. Um, but if they change it, they're going to make it better and less complaints. Make it easier. Yeah, you would think, unless, you know, I'm sure the arena is what has that say in everything, not, not Beachbody. So, um, okay, um, anything else? I'm trying to think if there's any other tips or anything for Summit. Go and have fun. Learn lots. You know, that's that's definitely, you know, when you get there, the whole, just the feeling of being surrounded by that many like-minded people, it really, like, the emotion in the room is, is pretty amazing. That's for sure. Yeah. So it's an experience like nothing I've ever been to before. Two speakers they had last year were so good. So, yep, yep, yep. All right. Um, so we do have a couple um, of extra minutes. How has everybody been doing uh, so far this month? I've been doing. I, I got big know. eyes. I got a little bobblehead. I got a. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Dang it, jerk. Don't, oh, um, okay, well, I am going to show, I, I made a simple, uh, checklist. I'm going to post it in our team page, and this is actually what I'm going to start giving to, um, all of my new coaches in my new coach emails, okay, um, and I'll actually just post it in our team page, but you can see it's got, you know, workout, personal, personal development, Shakeology, um, and this one's mine. The one that I made for everybody else is a little bit simpler so that it's not like upload the team call, meal prep, you know, 
I do have positive affirmations, say your positive affirmations and your goals and stuff on there because I do think that that's imp important for everybody. Um, but anyhow, I basically have, you know, your three vital behaviors, four really, if you have a team for recognition um, or challenge groups for recognition um, that I'm going to start giving to everybody. If you guys want to check it out, I did up across up across the top different colors for Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And then I did the days of the month in the the colors as well. If you want to do that, you can write them on there, print it out, write them on there if you want so that it can be custom to each month or um, save it as a PDF or whatever and you can go in and uh, edit it. You should be able to go in and edit it um, and print it out. But anyhow, I've got that so I'll share that with you guys. Um, who all has been doing the seven step funnel system? I haven't, but I've been doing the business activity tracker. Does that business count? activity tracker. That's good. Good, good. So um, one thing that I found, because I, I started doing like Teamsy and the seven step funnel system at the same time. Okay. And so with Teamsy, for the amount of money that I wanted to make, it said I had to contact nine new people a day. Okay. So trying to funnel nine people a day was entirely 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 too overwhelming because you start nine people you start nine people and then when you go back and you start nine people and then you got to go to step two with these nine people and step three with these nine people step four step five step six step seven with nine groups of people that is insane okay so yeah really um and so I, I definitely was not succeeding at it because by the time I'd got those step one done with nine, um, I was either like done time wise or done right that I didn't ever <laughs> that I didn't ever really get anybody to step two, step three, step four. Anyhow, so I finally had this epiphany and I was like, okay, if I'm talking to three people with step one, plus three people into step two, plus three people into step three, plus three people into step four, you're still talking to a lot of people, but you're actually making them, getting them through the steps. So even one, per, one new person a day means that you're talking to one person with step one, one person with step two, one person with step three, one person with step four, one person with step five. So you really are talking to eight, seven, seven people, seven people a day, which is still a lot of people that you're talking to. So even if you're funneling one person a day, um, you're talking to a lot of people. Okay. Yeah. What, okay, what's, got the, it. So, Megan? what's that? What is this funnel system? Funnel system. Okay. So I, I posted a seven step funnel system. I, think it was in our team page, but it may have been just in our June uh, success pod. Um, anyhow, I'm going to post this one in there too, because I thought that it would be beneficial for me to go all digital, right? Digital uh, check system for my month and digital on these. And I've come to find out that if I don't write it and I can't like physically see it, no it's it's too hard like i i can't see it right so i had to go back to paper okay um and so i made more printer friendly funnel systems which basically it's you write their name you take any there's a little spot for notes in case you need to write any notes on it but step one is basically liking and commenting on five or ten of their top posts okay so just reconnecting with them. Two days later, you take them to step two, which is send them a message and say, hey, how's it going? I haven't talked to you in a while. I saw that your kids are doing junior golf. How's that going? You know what I mean? Just 
else. Nothing about Beachbody, just starting a conversation, just a getting to know you, how's everything been going. Um, if it's like somebody that you know, you can like do like a refresher. If it's somebody that you've just barely added as a friend, uh, it's more of like a getting to know you type conversation. Um, so that takes them to step two. Step three is the same thing. You go back and you uh, message them back and continue to form them, right? See how they're doing, see how everything's going. Um, step four is to actually invite them to something. Something, whatever it is where you're doing, whatever it is we're doing as a team, whatever it is you're supposed to be inviting to that week, you invite them to it, you know, and it can totally be a, hey, I don't know if this is up your alley at all or not, but I'm doing blah, 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 blah. I thought of you because blah, 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 blah. Is that something you'd be interested in? Right? So you just ask them. And if, if they say, no, not right now, then ask, is there anybody that you can think of that would be good for blah, 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 blah. Right? So, so you're not just, you know, dead ending at nothing right there. You know, they might um, say, well, it's not really for me, but my sister-in-law, she's trying to lose weight. So here's her name, blah, 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 or whatever. And we're going to run out of time. Um, so step four is asking, inviting them. Um, I, I missed step five completely, you guys. Look at this. Four, six. Okay, anyhow, if there's instructions somewhere, you know, I'm not perfect. If you don't, if you don't like it, you don't like it. We understand. <laughs> I just, just go from step four right to step six. You so run your own business the way you want. We, we get it. <laughs> oh, goodness. You guys are killing me, or I'm killing myself. I don't know. Um, anyhow, and so you take them through these steps, which I have instructions on the steps that I will put with the paper. Okay, and then I have your screenshot. When it comes uh, to step seven, if they haven't answered you or um, aren't ready yet, you put them back in rotation to contact them uh, ninety days later, three months later.